pseudo-class, a way to style an element based on a change to its state. For example, when you hover over a button in the browser, it automatically adds this hover keyword to the selector. When working with pseudo-classes, it can be useful to go into the browser inspector and force the state on the element you're targeting. There are a bunch of different pseudo-classes out there, like focus when the user is actively using a form input, or disabled when a button has the disabled attribute set to true. Pseudo-classes are also useful when working with a collection of elements. We can easily target the first or last element in the list relative to its other siblings at this level by targeting the first child or last child pseudo-classes. If we want to be more specific, we can use last of type so it only targets this type of element. But what if we want the second, third, or fourth element? In that case, we can use nth child and pass an argument for the element that we want to grab. Or instead of a specific number, we might want to use odd or even. Or maybe we want to grab every fifth element in the list, multiply 5 by n to get every fifth element, like 5, 10, 15, and so on. You can also use addition and subtraction here to create any kind of pattern you want. Now sometimes, you might select something in your CSS, but what you actually want to style is everything else. For that, we have the not pseudo class, which performs negation. Notice how when we hover over an element in this list, all of the other elements are styled, but not the actual element that we're hovering over. That's because we're targeting all of the elements that are not hovered. Pseudo selectors are especially powerful when working with forms. One of my favorites is focus within, which allows a parent element to see if one of its children has focus. And that's especially useful if you have something like a drop-down menu and want to keep it open after the user has clicked a button. If you're building a web app with an international audience, you might want to know about the lang selector. Use it to apply custom styles to any element that has a lang attribute. You can use it to make all of your Dutch text orange, or combine it with nchild to make your German text black, red, and yellow. This has been Pseudo Classes in 100 seconds. Hit the like button if you want to see more short videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.